This is a look inside a $30 million mountainside mega mansion. Welcome back to the channel. This week's episode is a vlog from the archives. This past winter, my dog Theo and I packed up the Jeep and we took a cross country road trip from New York City to Los Angeles. And on our way back east, we stopped in Aspen, Colorado to link up with a good buddy of mine named Hank Carter. Now Hank is one of the top luxury real estate agents in Aspen Snowmass. So if you're looking to buy or sell your home in Aspen, make sure to contact Hank. All of his information is down below in the description of this video. In this video, we hit the slopes of Aspen, explore the town and take you inside one of the most expensive homes in the area. And with that, Enjoy the vlog. Welcome to Aspen, Colorado. Just listen to the birds chirping, the stillness of a fresh snowfall. Off in the distance, a wild Theodore running across this massive dog park. There's just about five inches of fresh powder on the ground. The sun looks like it's peeking its way out. It's gonna be a good day today. One thing you might not realize about Aspen is that Aspen is an incredibly small town. It's only seven blocks by about 10 blocks, the actual downtown. And then you have the different neighborhoods outside the main downtown drag. We're now heading to a pretty unique opportunity. We were invited to tour one of the most expensive homes in Aspen. We're actually linking up with a buddy of mine named Nico who runs a production company out of Denver. These guys are the best in the game, this side of the Rockies. Normally when I make these tours, I do my homework, I go on a walkthrough, I make my script. It's very structured. Again, this is all impromptu. There's no scripting. My reactions, I'm seeing it for the first time as you are. This is a compound. We're just pulling up to the house now. I don't know if you're allowed in the house, just because most people aren't too happy when they have puppies running around a $30 million house. So you might have to hang in the front yard. In the meantime, this boy's gonna play out here in the snow. He puts his head in the snow. I don't know why he does that. This dog is obsessed. What do you think of the house, Theo? Did you get used to this? He's like, nope, I just like the snow. Hey. What's up, man? All right, we're gonna switch to the steady cam now. First thing I want to point out, the views. The views are ridiculous of the mountain range off in the distance. The exterior of the home, it just looks like, honestly, like a ski lodge. It looks like it could be a ski lodge. It's that large. You have all the granite. You've got the cedar sidings, the slate roof. Heading up to the home, we have this awesome overhang for this motor court with these pavers and an oversized front door. Shall we? Yeah. Okay. What the? Now, before we jump into the tour, here are some stats on the property. It has seven bedrooms, a gourmet chef's kitchen. It's ski in, ski out, located right on the mountainside where the X Games are held. The home is privately situated on 8.6 acres of land, and it's on the market for just under $30 million. It is such a large scale, and it's really a home where just right off the bat, it's for entertaining. So off to the left here, it looks like there's a coat room. Come check this out. This is a full on coat room like you would find in a restaurant, a hotel, just right off the entryway. Then back out on the other side here, we have a nice powder room and it's a very regal themed home, even with this chandelier with the crystal. Yeah, there's a lot to unpack here. Let's jump into this. So from the grand entryway, the home just opens up. These have to be at least 30 foot high ceilings. Look at the perspective of me in the frame of this house. There's a huge tapestry on the wall here. That's what would you say, at least 15, 20 feet long. 1710, the Art of War series, silk and wool. Yeah, it's 10 foot by 26 foot. I mean, this is just for perspective. Check out this fireplace. My reach is just about, you know, nine foot, I'd say. The mantle's nine foot. And then right above we have these incredible cast iron chandeliers, three tiered. You actually have three chandeliers from the fireplace though. The thing that really draws you in is the view. There's this huge window and we're right on the mountain. The X Games half pipe is actually right there. And I heard in the past this home was actually rented out for the X Games. Oh yeah, you can see miles with these suckers. 
I mean, this house is a mood. Now, most of us can only dream about owning a home like this, but how about the chance to win a modern dream home located in Austin, Texas? I'd like to take a moment and thank the sponsor of this week's episode, Omaze. Omaze is giving away the chance to win a dream home in Austin, Texas, or $1.3 million in cold hard cash. One lucky winner named Alexis actually scored the Orlando dream house from the last video, and this Austin home has four bedrooms four bathrooms, three levels of living space with beautiful custom windows, a stunning floating staircase, top of the line high-end kitchen with clean lines and elegant accents throughout the entire space. Everyone knows that real estate in Austin, Texas is booming and you'll certainly live large in this home designed for the modern millionaire, which could be you watching. Or hear me out, if Texas is not for you, you can opt to take the $1.3 million in cold hard cash. Take a second and comment down below what you would do with $1.3 million. My head is swimming. A lot would go into cryptocurrency. Donate $10 and you are entered for a chance to win. Donations will go to support Folds of Honor. Folds of Honor is a nonprofit organization that provides scholarships for the spouses and children of America's fallen and disabled service members. So to potentially win the Austin Dream Home or $1.3 million and support an amazing cause, go to amaze.com slash conover. That's amaze.com slash C-O-N-O-V-E-R. Again, I want to thank Amaze for sponsoring this episode. And with that, let's head back to Aspen and check out the rest of this home. Also, these columns, massive granite columns. Wow. All right, we're gonna go off to the left here. And this appears to be the dining room. Again, super high ceiling height, massive chandelier overhead, seating for 10. In the back of the dining room, you have this wraparound staircase. So what is this, three levels? This is a grand staircase if I've ever seen one. It's a mountainside mansion. This is pretty incredible. And this is the kind of home where like you actually have to ask direction, like which way is what. So heading on into the house a bit more, we have elevator here. I'm gonna go left. And this is okay. Look at this kitchen. Huge center island, dark oak on the walls. Like look at the cabinetry in here. And even the ceilings, you have the coffered ceilings. This is the type of stove that you would have in a restaurant. This is a six burner dual wolf oven stovetop. This is a true chef's kitchen. And then also underneath you have the full vent. So, I mean, this is just such a custom built in right here. Towards the end of the kitchen, we have French doors, another table. This is like the informal dining table. There's this kitchen. And then there's another kitchen off to the left here, which would be the actual chef's kitchen because it's kind of hidden behind the scenes. A bit smaller, still that same theme. Here we have the commercial grade Sub-Zero. I mean, this is a house that is built purely for entertaining. It's on the side of a mountain. It's just over 15,000 square feet. I mean, this is, it's a lot to take in. I feel like we're gonna loop back down. Oh no, this is nothing here. This is like an office and mudroom. The master's this way? Yeah. All right, let's check out the master. Head down this hallway. The master's here, but first we're gonna stop into this room, which is a study slash lounge. The main thing that I've been noticing in every single room is just all the custom woodwork, coffered ceilings. I mean, this alone, this is all handcrafted, the amount of detail. So like my stepfather's a carpenter. I know a decent bit about carpentry and this is such detailed woodwork. Let's head out of this room. Now this is the entry to the master, right? And also check this out, recessed lighting under the stairs, two step up. I like this, this is very unique. So this is, you know, a glass door. So it's kind of inviting people to look in, but kind of blocking that sound off. Another hallway, very cool oversized mirror. I like that. Into, okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't really have words for this. It's so, it's such a dramatic house. It's just very dramatic. I mean, even the painting on the wall, this Renaissance kind of feeling. Are those cameras up there? Or are those just lights? Do you see that? It looks like those look like, like lights. lights. Yeah, those are stage lights for like a club or something. Someone gets kind of wild in here. Water closet. Wow. Look at this tub. Could you imagine that? A tub with a view looking out over the half pipe of the X Games. You can see all the mountain ranges off in the distance there. It's a very rare thing when I'm in a home and I kind of don't even have words for it. So when I normally make a video on my channel, I do a walkthrough prior. I'll take notes, like I said, I'll script it. So this is, you're seeing essentially a walkthrough and I mean, look at this. This is a walk-in steam shower, dual vanity. It, it just keeps going. This is a bit aggressive. 
This is the walk-in closet with double height ceilings. The average family wouldn't have enough clothes. I'm talking like a family of five to fill up all this space. This is a ton of closet real estate. All right, let's head out of the walk-in closet. We're just gonna keep this as one long take to really show the perspective of this home. I can't get over the, the light too because you get that reflection from the snow just illuminating the whole house. So we're making our way back through the master suite. I mean, just look at the ceiling height. A-frame, exposed wood, and then also access to all the outdoor space, which we'll probably check out at the very end of this. It's pretty interesting going into a house and not knowing the floor plan. That's one of those things where I, I kind of like to know where I'm at in the house. And uh, I'm near seeing it with me for the first time. So we're just leaving the master wing of the house, past that library again. And you were saying you want to check out the guest swing next? Let's go check out the guest swing, yeah. Floating wood staircase. I mean, this is just so exquisite. All right, making our way to the top of this staircase. This is a catwalk. So it's just essentially floating. On either side, you have views down below to the dining room. Nice window right here cut out. And now this is another wing of the house, which has, I'm guessing, guest bedrooms. Little seating area here. What is this? This is like a little, oh, it's a laundry room up here. That's pretty cool to have. Okay, this might actually be the junior master because this definitely is the largest of the guest bedrooms we've seen. Awesome sandstone fireplace, outdoor space. Wow, this is actually pretty large. Nice balcony. I mean, this is what makes the house. So I mentioned the X Games are right there. You have the jump off in the distance where you can see skiers just absolutely going berserk. It's so pretty, what a beautiful day too. Blue skies, see the mountain range off in the distance. Yeah, I could get used to Aspen. Let's head back on in. Shut this door, keep the warmth in. It's very impressive, but it's very much so a, um, what are the words you would describe this? I want to say medieval, but it's not quite like a medieval feeling. Also, tons of tapestry. Just the coat of arms throughout the house. Like, look at these two guys struggling naked to hold this coat of arms. <laughs> tapestry of Count Filippo of Milan, 1680. That's very expensive. All right, so just to show this off, I'm gonna test out the elevator in this house. I'll meet you guys down at the basement. Okay, to the basement we go. Awesome, whoa. Okay, there's a lot going on here. To the right, this gym with the red gym floor. Decent sized gym, I mean, there's a lot of equipment in here. The red's definitely a mood though. I don't think I've ever seen red gym floors, have you? You have the split half arch doors with the glass panes. Also the recessed lighting here with that barrel vault. I like that a lot. So this is the bottom of that crazy spiral staircase. Even looking up, that's such a cool perspective. Just to show how grand the house is. Right off the staircase, we have these two oversized doors, which lead, oh wow, into the home theater. This looks like something that would belong in like the Waldorf Astoria in New York City. This is just such a regal, I've said that word so many times, but it's such a classy feeling. Then towards the back of the theater, we have a bar that, I mean, this would rival a hotel bar. So we're gonna go off through this door here. Awesome sword above. It's like a labyrinth some shelves. Also, there's cameras everywhere. Look at that. Oh, wow. No way. We've just entered King Arthur's castle. This is the wine cellar. It's temperature control. I can feel it's already probably, you know, 50 something degrees in here. All right, let's head out of here. Back into the movie theater slash bar. Jeez. This is the gun lounge. So here we have the billiards room, awesome coffered ceiling, recessed lighting, good energy with the crystals, another mini wet bar here, and then this, gun collection. The moody fireplace, nice TV overhead, but also the sheer amount of art in here. What do we have here? What does it say? Sunset in the Rockies, 1866, oil on canvas. That's actually beautiful. Again, expensive. So these are the spears. This is insane, look at this. I've never seen this in someone's home. Late 16th century, yeah, this is all like, this is legit weaponry. Okay, so then we have, we'll go left. Here we have whoever's your least favorite guest, I'm guessing you put down here. Two beds, ensuite bathroom.
So here we are in the backyard and I mentioned this is a true ski and ski out home. Here we have the entertainment space outdoors, huge grill. You have a wine chiller, refrigerator, double sided fireplace. This is gas, but even just having this thing lit for the ambiance. And then of course, what mountain mansion would not be complete without the built in hot tub right off of the guest suite. We just got done uh, the walkthrough at that mansion and it's about six o'clock at night and it is snowing hard. I mean, we've probably gotten five inches in the past hour or so. I was gonna head out tomorrow, but I might have to extend my stay here. We're living in a snow globe right now. Life is short, stay an extra day. So if you wanna stick around, see a bit more vlog aspect of Aspen, let's do it. You wanna stay another day? Of course you do. The snow monster has spoken. I've got all my gear on, gloves, ski pants. We are ready to hit the slopes. You're gonna have to hang here for just about, you know, maybe three hours, take a nap, eat your food. I will see you in a bit, Theo. Be a good boy. Love you. Woo! All right, met up with Hank. Hey! Like I was mentioning this guy, one of the top producing agents here in Aspen and the homes that we've been touring, it's all because of Hank right here. It's been a while since I've skied. The last time I skied was maybe two years ago. Hank here was a professional wakeboarder, is that right? Yep, yep, before I moved out to Aspen. In 2012, I decided to come out to Aspen to work in media sales, and, and I had um, a lot of the real estate accounts, and by placing those real estate ads, I kind of developed a passion for nice properties and, and understanding this market, and been working with Aspen Snowmass Sotheby's International Realty for the past couple of years and uh, we've got a great team there and it's been a blessing to be able to live here, work here and get into these wonderful homes, get Eric into these wonderful homes that we get to sell and it's a great place. I just think it's so cool the fact that you built this lifestyle where you can be crushing it in real estate, you can do the things you love like skiing, hiking, it's a very unique way to see how someone is, you know, working in the real estate profession, but just doing it their way. We can't go anywhere in town without at least 10 people recognizing this guy and saying, what's up? <laughs> he is just so dialed into the community. So if you are looking for a home out here in Aspen, Hank's information is down below in the description of this video. But man, look at this view. This is that jet fuel for the soul coming out here. Peace and quiet, getting some nice skiing in. Sit down there, man. This is a double black, watch him just fly down this mountain. You can see a bit of perspective here, how steep the double blacks are. Very different than skiing Vermont, but here we go. Last run. They say the last run is usually the one where, I'm not even gonna put that in the video. I'll see you in the next clip. I wanna thank you for watching today's episode. Comment down below if you want us to go back to Aspen or Colorado in general to film some homes out there. We have some pretty incredible ones lined up, but let us know down below where you wanna see future home tours. I hope you're well watching this video, and with that, I will see you in the next episode.